Kilkenny's under-21s include TJ Reid of Ballyhale Shamrocks following his cameo role as substitute in last weekend's senior final. He lines up in a forward line with lots of scoring potential, which includes the side's top scorer, Richie Hogan. He's already a senior championship player, while his brother Paddy at centre-half back is very much the cornerstone of manager Michael Welch's formidable back line. Tip boss Declan Carr has replaced the injured Joey McLaughlin with Mark O'Mara at full forward. And like Kilkenny, the Munster men look particularly strong in attack with Seamus Callanan picked on the 40. And another senior man, Pa Burke, at top of the right. It's a team with four Mars, two of them, Kevin number four and Patrick the number 10, are from Laura in North Tipperary. Referee James Owens from County Wexford gets this under-21 final underway. The 45th ever and it is Kilkenny who won the toss, playing from left to right in the first half, which means that Tipperary have the little breeze at their backs for the opening 30 minutes. Straight away it's TJ Reid here, the star from last Sunday. Nice ball in, dangerous move here, and that's put straight over the bar there by Matthew Ruth. And Kilkenny take the first score of the game, first attack, and a devastating finish there by Matthew Ruth of James Stevens. Well, so many uh, sons of famous fathers and his dad was a really good one Matt Ruth into the centre it's important now that Tipperary or the outsiders in this particular final make a reasonably good start to the match Shane Burke trying to advance kept at bay there by Paul Murphy still manages to get his shot in and it's a beautiful shot at that over the bar really good work by the J.K. Brackens player and it's a point to peace. Good start to the under-21 final. Again, coming on to it strongly here is Kevin Lanigan. Came on as a sub when these teams met in the 2006 final. Finding Garrod Ryan, who in turn finds Tommy McGrath. Paul Burke required. Two Kilkenny players chasing after him. Doing well to link up there with Kevin Lanigan. Back in again it comes, and that's gone all the way over the bar. Great score by the wing-back, Kevin Lanigan from Carrick Swan. His first point, tips third, and they lead by three points to one. Seamus Callanan yet to see the best of him, but he's been marked by Paddy Hogan. That should be quite a, a duel. Owen O'Shea gets it away. Stopped by the other centre-half back this time, it's Tommy Stapleton. Michael Carr watching Stapleton, he's fouled. Foul committed by Richie Hogan, and it's got to be a free. Not much doubt about it. Richie, uh, who's studying to be a teacher I think a little bit frustrated uh, missing a couple of chances earlier on and he really went in rather foolishly there gave the free away TJ Reid oh it's over the bar might just as easily have gone under it but TJ Reid from Ballyhill Shamrocks getting his first point here and tying it up at three points apiece targeting Patrick Marr this time pressure applied Held on to somehow in the middle of the park and lost by James Dowling. He's lost it to Shane Burke. Tricky angle, so he wisely plays it in there towards Pa Burke. Can't take it. Tommy McGrath's there as well. Likewise, Mark O'Mara. Played back out here towards Seamus Callanan. And Callanan under pressure has a go. Manages to get his shot in and raises a white flag. First of the day for the man from Drum and Inch. Senior star, Seamus Callanan. 4-3, tip lead. Colin McGrath, great pace to the match. Back into the middle it comes once again. And Kilkenny busy as ever. Richie Hogan stealing a march there to Seamus Hennessy. And it comes off the post and Richie Hogan's out of luck this time. Comes back down to Matthew Ruth. Got the first point of the game for Kilkenny. And he's now got his second great score by the man from the village and it is four points apiece here's Kieran Joyce taken down beautifully there in stylish fashion by Matthew Ruth and then the Tipperary backs converge upon him Brendan Marr, Lanigan was there as well comes out once more however to TJ Reid TJ Reid quick look around to see who was oh beautifully done bounced it off the ground to gain some yardage, here's a real chance, and it's in the back of the net. Matthew Ruth. Great run by TJ Reid. 
but a goal after 14 minutes of this All-Ireland final. Watch it coming in here right to the edge of the square and put into the back of the net. TJ Reid, wonderful approach play. Look at that for control. Nicely here, across to the man in space and buried in the back of the net. And it was Matthew Ruth, his first goal of the match. Back in once again, and Ruth again. He's got one, looking for a second. Comes back to him, second down of asking. Trying to do an Eddie Brennan in it. And this time there's a player in the square, and it's got to be a free out. This was the shot again here, which was terrifically well blocked down by Podrick Marr. That was a second opportunity, and there to help out was Kevin Marr this time, before the goalkeeper, Matthew Ryan, got in the way. Again, the Kilkenny half-backs winning the possession, helped out there by Owen O'Shea from Clara. One of four Clara players in the panel. This is good work here by Patrick Marr. He's a strongly built lad. Marr trying to go through here, but look at the number of Kilkenny backs who were in perfect position. And Paddy Hogan inevitably seizes on the uh, loose ball. An opportunity then here for Colin Fennelly. Back there goes Tommy Stapleton. Back as far as Podrick Marr from Turles Sars, pressurised once again by Colin Fennelly. High up into the air, comes down, but comes down to a Kilkenny player. And that was Ruth, and this is Mulhall, and that is over the bar. John Mulhall's first of the day. So four of the forwards have now scored, and it's 1-6 to five points. Good start to the match by Kilkenny. Close with another. Nicely balanced here by Parberk. Need to see more of Pa Burke and Seamus Callan and the big stars of this team in the forward line at least. And they're being denied possession by Kilkenny's good marking, tenacious play at the back. Difficult for the forwards to get any possession and then there's a wild chop that time and the referee pointing the finger at Tommy McGrath and it might be more than just pointing the finger, I think it's going to be a yellow card for him. The free to be taken by Paddy Hogan, who's already won an intermediate championship medal this year. Just a couple of weeks ago, looking to add to the that. This is his brother, Rich. Nicely in. Oh, Ruth, almost there. He is there now. Another goal for Kilkenny. And this one coming in the 30th minute. And back to Ruth again. Right on the call of half time. Followed in by. Matthew Ruth and Matthew Ruth got it over the goal line. That's two goals and two points for Matthew Ruth. Comes back into the centre once again here. Garroyd Ryan working hard in the centre of the park, out as far as Brendan Marr. Some switches being made by Tipperary to try and get their game plan moving a little better. And Brendan Marr puts that one over the bar. 2 7 to six points. Picked up here in the centre of the park by Pa Burke. Nicely in for Seamus Callanan. A point so far. Looking for another score. Here's an opportunity for Tip Senior Star. Kind of mishit it, unfortunately, from his point of view. Paul Murphy under pressure in there. Comes back again here and Tipperary hold the possession somehow. That's Patrick Marr trying to go through some number of bodies. Failed to make anything very much of it. It comes back out again towards Garroyd Ryan. And Garroyd Ryan with the shot over the bar. His second point. Good score by Garroyd Ryan. Down towards Pa Burke. Couldn't take it. Taken instead by Owen O'Shea. And then he loses it. Bit of a pile up. And the referee will probably blow the whistle. Well, I'm waiting for him, but he didn't quite do so. Well, eventually the whistle does go, and it's a free to tip Tipperary. Parberg fouled. Delighted to have won a free at the end of that. This isn't easy. Very close to the sideline. But he's made little of the angle of difficulty inside the right-hand post, and that's another wonderful display of free-taking by Parberg. 2-8 to 12 points, 14 points to 12 where Kilkenny once led by six points at half-time.
their lead has been eaten into inside towards John Mulhall well taken by John Mulhall off he goes in pursuit is Brendan Marr Mulhall strikes it superbly second point for John Mulhall really enjoying his afternoon at Croke Park and the Cats fans and their subs will fail the tide may be turning back in their direction once again Tip have their opportunities but they have needed a goal for some time now Garroyd Ryan helped out here by Seamus Hennessy Hennessy off his left hand swept inside towards Seamus Callanan runs on goalkeeper stops it it was a tame enough effort should have done more with that back out it comes here to Neil Prendergast well that was a glorious opportunity for Tipperary to have got themselves firmly back into this match and the man you would depend upon normally Seamus Calden was foiled by Colin McGrath this was a super opportunity should have made it and I'm sure he knows it great stop by the keeper back in once more dangerously in there and it is Kieran Joyce back out not too far taken up here by Garroyd Ryan Ryan has got two points already in this final and now he has got a third great score by the Temple Derry midfielder 2-10 to 13 points means it's once again a three-point game great play by Garroyd Ryan excellent score tip looking for favorable breaks Kilkenny trying to close the door on them they move menacingly forward here with Patrick Marr oh, goalkeeper saw it at the last moment and then the referee says that a foul was committed and it's got to be a free in on the 20 meter line and a chance for Tipperary to get themselves a point at the very least here Patrick Marr knocking it in here to the goalkeeper yeah there was a foul there Paul Burke has this 20 meter free the fans are urging him to go for a goal he's six from six so far from freeze he's going for the goal and he has to be content with a point it was well stopped on the line good work again by the goalkeeper Colin McGrath cross here as far as Niall Welch and Niall Welch lets it go and he puts it over the bar his first point comes in the 57th minute and it might well be enough to ensure Kilkenny's victory at the end of the hour here's good pressure Marr that's Patrick Marr and Patrick Marr was charging and it's going to be a free out the tip fans feel that he was being held but the referee rotating his hands indicating to Patrick Marr too many steps he had pretty much had his head down and was taking off and hoping for the best the number 10 once he had got the possession here he was taking off and in the end the referee says you took too many steps and the decision goes Kilkenny's way is the title to go Kilkenny's way as well they are preparing a board and it's going to be two minutes of additional time but time not in Tipperary's favour TJ Reid looking for his first score of the second half umpires have a look at one another and he's got another point the man who was the star of the first half setting up so many chances and that's his first chance really in the second half 2-12 to 15 points means Kilkenny lead by three Ruth trying to hold on to it challenging him in there is Kevin Marr helping out is Michael Cahill but Tip can't get the ball and it's Colin Fennelly who sets off here fleet footed up to that point there where he's taken down and it's going to be a free for Kilkenny at a crucial stage in the match a despairing challenge there you could see by Tommy Stapleton well aware that the game may just about be up at this stage five points for Richie so far in the game Kilkenny are leading by three and now they are leading by four good score they jump for joy the young Kilkenny Cats 
and there is the final whistle and it is a clean sweep of all hurling titles by Kilkenny this season they won the intermediate they won the minor at the beginning of last weekend's matches then they won the senior and Michael Welsh has led them to the under 21 title and that is the first time ever in Kilkenny history that they've made a clean sweep of everything that was going in hurling Michael Walsh has led them to victory it's the tenth time they have won the crown final score Kilkenny 213 Tipperary 15 points